Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wookie here, and I'm here with some Dracalia Lost, and it's the one year's tomorrow, or as of when you're hearing this, it will, and actually no, as of this video's release, it will be tomorrow. So before that happens, I figured may as well play some Void Battles for, as they're about to disappear, and then talk about some of the stuff that's going to happen. I'm going to be going against Void Poseidon. I don't think I've ever fought Void Poseidon for, it doesn't matter anyway. Um, if it ends up being too hard to grind and I don't want to let down my teammates, then I'll switch to something easier. Or auto something, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, the one year. Okay, so let's, uh, let's run down the, the basics of it, which is basically there's, the, the anniversary is going to be, oh, really? Listen, if I'm going to be, alright, let's, let's be real here. If I'm going to have to fucking create the room, then I want to set some fucking parameters. Uh-huh. No. I want wind. There we go. Yeah, the one year is coming tomorrow, and I'm looking super fucking forward to it, because... So, on, after maintenance is over, a gala banner featuring Prince. The Prince is going to get his first gala unit. Um, people call him Uoden, but canonically, the Prince has my name, which is Woki. So, therefore, Prince Woki will get his first gala banner. And I'm looking forward to that. Um, he's going to be a light unit, he's going to have a sword, and um, along with him, I think it's going to be the longest lasting Gala Banner, because it's here until October 1st, and then when it, it leaves, then another Gala Banner with a shorter time frame, but with more units is going to be there. I just realized that I set it up too high. Alright, fine, nobody wants to fight Void Poseidon with me. I'll just switch to Twilight Hermit. And I'll just auto it in the background. So enjoy this autoing. Um, so yeah, Gal the Gala Prince is coming. Uh, his all his moves sound look pretty good to me, um, at least based on the way I play the game, which is pretty casual, all things considered. But seems pretty solid to me, so I'm willing to try and get him, even though it's extremely hard to get anything of a Gala Banner. Besides that, there's going to be a premium premium summon. Which is, um, if you pay for, I forget the currency that it uses in Dragalia, because I've never had to buy it. I literally have never had to buy it for any banner, any ad, any banner ever. But for this one, I might, just because uh, when you pull on this banner, you get a Gala unit. And the only Gala unit I currently have is Mim. So the idea of pulling, it's basically a 20% chance of getting a dupe. And if I get a dupe, then that's extremely unfortunate. But chances are low, I'd say. Um, we're getting a shit ton of, we're getting 10 free multi summons. We're getting, um, not at the same time, but like log in every day. We're getting 5,000 worm to start, which is crazy as hell. Like, and then also not related to the anniversary, but coming later is a Mega Man collab. Like what the fuck? That's insane. I've been trying to say that for a while that, you know, um, and you guys wouldn't have been able to hear it because I don't think I've ever said it on video really, but I've been wanting collabs with other um, properties uh, Since Fire Emblem is one I wanted to be I basically want the Smash Brothers of Dragalia I want Dragalia to be the Smash Brothers of gotchas where um, It all its collabs are basically all characters that you can find in Smash Brothers and actually one uh, good friend guts pointed out that if they keep it with mobile games there's actually a, a, a chance for fake grand order to maybe be a part of a crossover someday which i'd like uh, i'm not sure how much other people would like it but i think it'd be funny uh especially since considering we share a lot of similar characters like gene and stuff um oh really you're gonna all right i'm gonna use some of my honey um but yeah, super impressed with, it was a 15 minute long video and it told me exactly what I need to know, um, what I wanted. Some of the uh, quality of life stuff seems really cool, P being like the, I think the new event's gonna let you pick a five elemental weapon if you, you know, work hard enough and actually get it, which sounds awesome. Um, yeah, and I can't wait to do, I think my current number of uh, summon tickets because I like to I don't like to spend actual worm on gala banners especially with Mega Man on the way um, but for the prince I might break that rule and actually do a legit summons to try and get him uh, 
but I'm still trying to figure it out, man. It's so hard to figure out exactly what I want. But Galabanner, I've been holding back so long that Galabanner is about to be like a fucking flood. I'm gonna get it so crazy. All right, go back in here. After this fight, I'll look up some of the other stuff coming, but yeah, super looking forward to it. The only bummer about it is, is that I'm gonna be working and it's a rough ass night at work. So obviously I plan to do a summon uh, video on it, but it might be a little bit late just because, you know, I have to worry about work and not dying at work and all that other good stuff. All that good stuff, but that's not good stuff for me. That's bad stuff for me. I'm gonna go Gene on him, just to flex. Slap. Um, yeah, I cannot get over the fucking Mega Man collab. Now, here's the thing is that the Mega Man collab specifically says it's with a gotcha game. So I really hope that gotcha game is... Oh, did I get a five-star print? Please let it be a print. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. nice. I'll take it. Um, I really hope whatever Mega Man is, his look is solid because... It's not only going to be Mega Man, it's got to be way more than just Mega Man and everything else. But I'm interested to see what it what it could possibly be. Why the fuck don't I have this unlocked? Oh, because I haven't played co-op. That would do it. Let me just quickly get these, and then I'll... Okay, so... I forget, this is the news button, right? Yes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Dragalia banner. Here he is. Uh, the Behold the Light of Alberus, Prince. Uh, I should say Prince Wokey on there. Come on, that's a canon name. Uh, yeah, he's able to create a circlet around it, increase strength for anyone inside it, and then his exalted glory is strength buff of 15% for 15 seconds, Adolphite's damage. It's, he does a lot of crazy shit, and then obviously there's, here's the other ones here. Now, the only bummer thing about this specific news is that it does not mention, um, uh, the upcoming Mega Man banner, which I guess, fair enough. You want people to see the actual video. Uh, here it is. Here's the thing. So, some people would be surprised if like, whoa, what the fuck? There's two banners going up? Yeah, there is two banners. Um, because gala banners are never supposed to be tied to an event. Because gala banners are so good. At least this is the, this is what I think the reason why they're not. is because gala banners are so good. That if they were tied to events, then it would basically kind of make certain things meaningless to pull on. I mean, it's kind of meaningless to pull on anything that's not limited or anything else, but, you know, whatever. And if you pull, then congratulations, you have... No. As long as you pull, whatever, man. Live the gotcha life you want to live. I constantly like to save because I like saving it for gala banners and other stuff that I want down the road. And also because I think chasing specifically adventures in Trigalia Loss is kind of a lost cause. Uh, that's my own personal thing. I like to do it that way, but yeah, here in the three, it's going to be Delphi, who I don't know who that is. And then the other one is Cassandra, who looks cool. That's totally why she looks cool, and that's the reason why I would want her. And she has Umbrella Assault, all right. Obviously, I don't know what these dudes do 100%. I'm just looking at them. Here's the thing that fucked me up. It's Chthonius. Now... Um, incoming spoilers for anyone who has not finished chapter 10. All right. I gave it about a couple seconds. Uh, skip about a minute, I guess, uh, if you don't want to hear it. Chthonius is fucking dead. He died in chapter 10 when he, uh, formed up with fucking Alberus, the founder, and became the giant, uh, weird, uh, dragon thing that held across the, I forget his name. I forget the bad guy's name, but he held against the big evil guy, the other, so, is he just going to come back? That seems crazy to me. I thought, he, honestly, I thought um, because of his design, he was obviously going to be somebody coming up. I didn't expect him to be directly related to the event itself. Um, yeah, and he's also like one of the six great uh, legendary great worms. But I thought that because all the other ones were free to play, he would also eventually be free to play down the line. But it doesn't seem like that's the way they want to go with it. Uh, which is fine. But I'm more like surprised about like, I'm actually kind of invested now in the story and where it kind of goes and so i would like to hear first how they reckon with the fact that chthonius is alive and two how is he alive and how are you going to tell new players of the game who have maybe not reached chapter 10 that this dragon at some point died um 
Or at least I assume he died. Like, he had to have died. He gave his power, but then um, Shadow Worm took it. So maybe that means that there's a way to bring him back or something. I don't know. But I thought it was very um, interesting to see him there. And I'm still surprised that not a lot of the other, like, uh, dudes are in there. Like, specifically the Great Night guy that I can't remember the name of right now. But whatever. The first year is starting soon. And I can't wait. There's going to be new stickers. There's a MIM sticker. It's all good. It's all great stuff. And I'm just thinking this video, really, this video is just an excuse for me to be able to be like, oh, super excited and talk about it. And then we'll also in the background grind a little bit. But, you know, uh, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next Dragalia Lost video because I'll be doing a little bit more because anytime there's an anniversary, that's the same reason there were so many Dokkan videos is because during an anniversary, I just like playing gotcha games, man. That's the best time to start playing one, in my opinion. Anyway, until next time, goodbye, everyone.